When considering the repair of a gully erosion site, a critical piece of information required is the amount of water that runs through the gully during rainfall events. To effectively rehabilitate an eroded site, structures must be designed to safely cope with the volume and velocity of water that can travel through the catchment and gully at peak flow. If this is not done correctly, structures can fail causing more damage. When you walk into an area where there's an erosion problem, you have to assess the sites uh, thoroughly before you actually do anything else. And part of that assessing is uh, quite involved. You have to look at the landscape, you have to look at the erosion problem itself. You have to uh, take assessment of the catchment area, the ground cover, the size and shape of your gullies, different areas that the water's coming from, your drainage lines, where they come from, where they go to, so that you can actually pick out where the water's going and where it's coming from to the gully head. The guts of assessing a site is to really look at uh, what the size of the catchment is and how much water you're dealing with. Once you know that, you've really got your hands on what you can do and what you can't do. And you're always looking for the easiest solution. The other thing that's very important is to see how aggressive your gully head is or your erosion is. If it's not moving any more than a few inches every year, it's probably something that you can improve by managing your pastures, etc. If it's moving metres a year, it's aggressive enough to want to do something about quickly to stop that erosion and stop that soil movement. While assessing the gully sites, it's very good to have a look at past uh, flood heights in the, in the gully itself. If there's any flood lines or flood debris, you can assess how high the water's been running through your gully. That gives you a good idea. Let's get out there in the rain and, and watch what water levels you got. And this is all very important to design your rehabilitation exercise for the heads of gullies that are very aggressive. In small catchments, it is relatively easy to estimate the volume of water travelling through your gully at peak flow. At your gully head, multiply the depth of the highest recorded flow through the gully by the width of the flow. This gives you a cross-section area of the water flow in square metres. Next, you must estimate the flow rate. The flow rate is easily measured by timing a floating object over 10 seconds and measuring the distance it travels. Divide the distance by time to find the velocity in metres per second. If it is not possible to measure the flow rate, a good rule of thumb is 1 to 3 metres per second, depending on the steepness of the gully floor and roughness or vegetation. To estimate the volume of water flowing in your gully, multiply the flow rate by the cross-section area. Once you have an estimate of water flow, you can start to imagine what solution might be required to slow and spread the water. To accurately define the area of the catchment delivering water to the gully head and the slope of the catchment, topographic data can be sourced from Queensland Globe imagery. Monitoring is an important part of assessing your gully site, so you can see what management techniques have a positive or negative impact on the site itself. When you're monitoring, it's important to go back to the same site time and time again. Make sure you've got something in your background that's distinctive, so you know that you're going back to the same spot and you can see the change over time. If you've changed your management practices and improved your ground cover and your grazing land management, but your gully's still getting worse, now is the time to think about rehabilitation options. When you have a really big catchment and lots of water, sometimes it's better to talk to the professionals and we refer to you to your local NRM group. Something that's probably below a hectare is a perfect place to start learning about gully erosion. Something like this, where it's an eroded farm track, um, is a perfect place for you to start putting low cost input methods to fix the track. Interested in learning more? Landholders located in the Fitzroy or Burnett Mary regions are welcome to collect a gully erosion manual from FBA or BMRG. The manual includes detailed information to help you adopt best practice prevention and rehabilitation methods on your property.